Looks like it's coming right at me. Oh man, he nosed it. He nosed right at the camera. That was so awesome. Welcome back. Today we are out here chasing some burbot. It's an absolutely gorgeous March day. As you can see, I'm in my jeans, in a sweatshirt, um, riding my snowmobile around, just kind of bouncing around, checking a bunch of different spots. Um, did see some fish here on the underwater camera. So we are gonna start fishing here uh, today. Kind of the goal is to see if we can get any daytime burbs, get some action on the underwater camera, see these things eat, uh, see if we can get a little bit of that. And then once it gets dark, transition to using the live scope, see if we can get on some active fish. This time of year, right around their spawn time, they can get really active, really aggressive, and it can get a lot of fun. You can get on some pretty good numbers of some fish. Oh. I just had one bump the camera as I was talking. I didn't quite get to totally see it. Oh, he's coming up. He's coming up. Oh. Yep. <laughs> well, I guess this will work for an intro. Today, like I said, trying to get some underwater footage. I'm pretty sure that one came up and bit the camera first and then finally came up and bit, kind of circled around. Got a decent fish here. It's kind of tough to tell. I might be wrapped around my live scope transducer a little bit as well. Yeah, definitely wrapped around the live scope transducer. That's not helping my cause at all. Gonna pull it up here. Oh, a decent little one. Got a lot going on here. There it is. And that, oh, these buggers are so tough to hold. That is what we are chasing. And they are so strong. Even these smaller ones like this, man, they just have some muscle to them. So that is quite the intro right there. We're out here chasing the burbot, trying to get some daytime burbs. And man, it is just so cool seeing these fish eat on the underwater camera. Um, we still got a decent amount of daylight left here. I'll get this guy unhooked and get him back down. Sweet, there we go. Nice daytime burbot, and we'll get him right back down. Well, I guess that will serve as a pretty good intro. Like I said, we are out here chasing some burbot, trying to get some daytime on the camera. That one came up, bit the camera, I'm pretty sure, first. I didn't see the whole thing. Kind of as I turned, I was looking, and I saw the tail, and I saw the camera move. Then it kind of circled back around, eventually came back around and bit, and got to see the whole thing on the camera. That is just so cool. I don't care how many times I see fish eat on the camera, especially with these burbot, because a lot of times they're a nighttime bite, you know, during closer to their spawn time, they definitely will get to that more daytime bite. And I am by no means an expert in burbot. Uh, some of my buddies are, and they've given me a lot of great information, given me some insight into these fish. So what a sweet start to the night. And the best thing is it should only get better from here. Oh, he dropped it. He's sniffing it. There we go. <laughs> that was so fun to watch. Oh, man. I don't have my live scope cam going. Oh, that was fun to watch. <laughs> Not a big guy, but man, was that so much fun to watch on the cam camera. Man, these things, these things are just so strong. Even these smaller ones like this, they just have such cool colors. That was so much fun. Get that guy back down. Hoping we can get a few more before it gets dark here uh, so that we can see some more eats on the underwater camera. That was so cool. Kind of knows it, knows it, knows it. Finally, I could see that it eats, set the hook. I love seeing fish underwater on the underwater camera there's just not much cooler than that since it's so nice out i'm actually just running around on my sled right now i have a tote strapped to the old indie trail and it works out perfect because i can have my auger rack on back i can drill a hole pop my transducer right in i have my live scope right in this tote it protects it but it also works where i can fish right out of it i can have my underwater camera set up over here and it works out 
great as I can have a base camp and I can move still fairly easily. Even while having all of this technology going on, it uh, makes me still fairly mobile. As it gets closer to dark, I might set up camp here for the night. But until then, we're just going to roll around in the snow wheel, see what we can find. I do have the live scope cam running now, but it's going to be really hard to see anything um, because I am such on such a steep break that there's a lot of that dead zone. I'll kind of show oh, Never mind, I have a fish coming in. Oh, come on. Doesn't look very big. See if he'll turn and come back around. So there you can see me on bottom. You can't see anything on the live scope. Probably couldn't even see that fish on the live scope. Um, and as I pull up, you can kind of start to see it there. And I get up a little farther. About when I lose it on the camera, I can see it um, on the live scope. So that works out actually kind of nicely because I can always have eyes on that fish. It is kind of fun to see both side to side on the comparison. But with this steep of a break in that dead zone, I just don't think we're going to have it happen. I'll probably go back and look at that footage and realize that I just pulled it right away from him. So what I've been doing is just kind of running around looking for areas throughout the lake that have really steep breaks, especially when they're adjacent to deep water. Like I said, I'm not an expert pout fisherman by any means, uh, but just from some of the things that I've watched and just from some of the people that I've talked to, some of my friends that are really good pout fishermen, um, that's what it kind of seems. They really like these steep breaks. So I'm cruising around the lake, whether it's mid-lake structure or shoreline structure, when there's these steep breaks, really close contour lines, that's where I'm kind of bouncing around from hole to hole, checking a bunch of different areas, seeing if we're seeing any fish on the live scope and on the camera. A lot of times I will drop the camera down and just see what the bottom looks like a lot of times looking for some sand maybe some rock anytime there's some good stuff like that right on these steep breaks um, usually can hold a lot of fish Ooh, there's one coming in i'm just gonna let it sit that seemed to be what triggered him last time just sitting nosing it here he picks it up i don't think he all the way has it oh, he didn't have it i think he just had the minnows maybe he got a taste now what is he doing he's just sitting there it looked like he just maybe had the minnows in his mouth. I'm having a tough time seeing. But he's just sitting there right now. What the heck? I don't want to jig it too much and spook him. I'm kind of hoping that he'll notice that he has that taste. And he'll suck it in a little bit more. <laughs> I'm not sure what he's doing. Oh, he doesn't even have it in his mouth. He's just sitting right next to it. What is it doing? I don't want to bump him and spook him because I'm right next to him right now. Oh, there's another one coming in behind. Ooh, that one maybe looks a little bigger. Oh, that one looked a little bigger. Ooh, and I think there's a third one coming in. We've got three burbs on here right now. Come on. Ooh, that one looks a little bit longer. Come on. Oh, man. And that guy's gone. What the heck? That was so crazy. That thing scooped it up. And I could feel it, but I don't think he quite had it in his mouth. I think he was just grabbing the minnows. And then he just sat there for a long time. It was almost like it was waiting for those bigger ones to swim by. Like maybe it saw them. So it was sitting just right on bottom. And then those two bigger ones kind of swam by, didn't move. And once those went by, then it kind of scattered off. That was so cool. Man, even though I didn't catch one there, seeing those fish and seeing what they're doing, especially these burp, there's not a lot known about them. There's a lot more studies going on right now um, about them and about kind of some of their activity. But it's just so cool seeing fish, like I said, in their natural habitat, seeing what they do, seeing how they act. Um, Obviously, I can learn a lot with my live scope, but with the underwater camera, you can just see so much more and get to see really exactly what they're doing. I have not seen any fish for a little while. So I'm actually gonna take my underwater camera and bounce around to some of these holes, see what the bottom looks like, see if I'm seeing any fish on the camera. Looks like it's coming right at me. Oh man, he nosed it. He nosed right at the camera. That was so awesome. Looks like it's hot. 
flaming hot. Oh, that thing just choked it. Oh, man. That thing came and just smoked it. Oh, that was so fun to watch. That thing was on a mission. Oh, I love this rod. This rod is just so fun for fighting these fish. It's my JT Black Rain. It's a 40 inch. And oh man, is it just, even some of these smaller fish, it just fights these things so nicely. Right at the edge here. Well, I'm tangled up in my, tangled up in my camera cord. Oh boy, turn this down so that you can see this interesting mess I got going on. So I got my cord. Ooh. Uh, here we go. I had to loosen up my cord. Oh, wow. That thing got all sorts of twisted up. Oh, man. What a mess. Oh. There we go. Oof. There we go. Another decent pout. Man, these things are just so much fun. They are so colorful. We'll get that back. Oh, he's got my thumb. He's not letting go. Oh, we'll get that guy back down. Ooh, that one came in so aggressively. You could see it all the way just beelining. I raised it up and it just bit so perfectly. Man, that doesn't get old. I just realized that I may have not been recording on the underwater camera during that last fish. And that is a killer because I got to see that thing beelining right at me. I'll go back and check, but I don't think I got it on underwater camera. Hopefully I got some on live scope. Um, I was able to pull it up a little bit, so hopefully we're able to see that. But man, that is just a killer because that was such a fun fish to watch. I've just got a lot going on over here in my tote back here. And in fact, I think I'm gonna take a picture here for you. I have my live scope with my GoPro connected to it. And then above that, I have my underwater camera. I have my camera case, my underwater camera case. Got a lot of stuff going on in here and it's kind of a mess because I've been bouncing around a lot, um, kind of staying on the move and I haven't really got a chance to settle down yet. Well, I think that's going to do it for the camera. I'm actually gonna get my house set up here um, and get set up for the evening. I have something coming in. Oh, he's on me. Come on, he's circling. Oh, and he's going back down. Oh, I'm not even set up yet. There's one. Oh, he's coming in pretty good. Oh, came right up to it. what it took I had to just sit that thing on bottom and it's not surprising knowing these pout man I was sure hoping I was gonna be able to get a little bit of some live scope footage from these guys oh let's see if I can wrangle this guy again not getting into the size that we would like but that one I just had to sit on bottom decent little fish here get that guy back down so that might have to be the ticket. I was really hoping the males gonna be able to get some live scope footage. Um, sometimes they'll be able to come off bottom and be pretty aggressive, but obviously tonight they're coming up and they're looking, but they're not wanting to bite until it's sitting right on bottom. So I'll keep trying that, see if we can get any more. Definitely not quite as good as I was thinking it was gonna be when we first got here. We had fish on the underwater camera often. We caught a few, saw quite a few more, and I was thinking once it was gonna be dark that we were gonna get into a pretty good bite, but it doesn't appear to be that way. So I'm hoping we can at least scratch out a couple more here. Um, before the night is over to salvage um, a decent little video out of this. Oh, there's one. There we go. I was just texting my wife to let her know when I was going to be coming home. And this thing actually came up off bottom, so that'll be kind of nice to get a little bit of live scope footage of something coming up. There we go, coming up the hole. That's actually fought a little bit bigger than what it is. Again, none of these have been super big, but man, are they just so colorful. Such a neat fish. That one came up off bottom, finally bit. So I'm hoping, 
who knows maybe we'll get a decent little late bite here give you a good look at that one before i send it back down there we go it's so important to glow these things up here i'll turn off the light so you can see it glowed up so important i mean even with a little bit of a live scope light you can see how much these things glow that's that big nasty spoon it's such a good spoon to have in the dark it glows a lot right away and that even lingers not a lot um, but there's definitely still a little bit of shine a lot of times i'll even put something on a tip up and have it out for a few hours and when i come and pick it up at the end i actually see a little bit of glow left on it see something coming in from the left i'm going to drop it right down to bottom what i'll do is i'll drop it right down to bottom and just keep it right there with on kind of a tight line so i can still feel that bite feel it almost nose it for a second but definitely didn't bite oh, feeling something bite i think it has it and it's swimming with it there we go again didn't see it because it was right on bottom but i felt something bite and then it started swimming kind of up with it so i didn't even feel it i don't think it's a very big one whoa not a very big one but holy is it a feisty one saw something swimming down. I don't know if something chased it up, but I haven't let this thing back down yet. And I saw, so just a little guy here, just a little dink, but that thing was fired up. Again, I was bouncing it on bottom. Get that guy back down. Again, I was bouncing it on bottom. And I thought I felt something bite. You know, sometimes it'll get stuck in the mud and it'll feel like a little extra weight. Sure enough, a little bit later, I could feel it and I could see my line. I have it kind of dark in here, so it's a little bit tough to see. I could actually kind of see my line going up. So I kind of took it and was swimming up with it. So I knew it was on there, set the hook, and there it was. Ooh, something rolling right on bottom. I'm just going to continue to let it sit. It's coming from the left. I think a bit there it is yeah definitely needing to let it sit on bottom again doesn't feel like a big one kind of just pulled it up to draw some fish into the area sometimes i'll go up a little bit higher oh boy oh boy all these things are just so amped up right now definitely not the size that we're looking for the last few have been pretty small but man, it is still so fun to catch even some of these smaller ones like that. Again, so I was pulling up um, about probably three feet off bottom. Sometimes I'll lift that up, kind of jig it around, see if there's any fish in the area that'll see that since it's a little bit higher up. But 10 feet off, I saw this little roll on the bottom. So I knew it was a fish kind of coming in tight to bottom. So I just let it sit on bottom and eventually, sure enough, came in and bit. Not a big one, but still so fun to catch these things. Even these smaller ones have so much fight in them. I really need to get going soon. Um, but there's been just enough action to kind of keep me interested. Every time I think about packing up or I start packing up, I see a fish, I catch a fish, but it is a weeknight and I will be having kindergartners coming into my gym tomorrow. So I better start picking up. Again, a lot of fun, not a lot of size. So fun to be able to sneak out like this on a weeknight, um, get a decent night bite in. So awesome seeing that underwater footage. There's not much cooler in my mind than seeing those fish on the underwater camera, seeing them, like I said, in their natural habitat, seeing how they react to different baits, and then sticking it out here after dark and picking up a few more. So not an outstanding night, but still a lot of fun. Even these smaller ones put up such an awesome fight. So not sure if this will be my last ice fishing video of the year, but it's looking pretty likely the way ice conditions are deteriorating. So not sure what will be up next for me, but stay tuned and thanks for watching.